Okay, so this is a brief demonstration of the online werewolf prototype I've been working on over the past few days. Since this app obviously isn't on the internet, I'm going to be using three windows to simulate three people playing together. Obviously, each player would only see what's on their window. Okay, I'm going to start the local server on my machine and let's go. So when someone connects to the website, the first thing they'd see is a little join prompt. They can enter a username and a room ID. If the room doesn't exist, when they enter the room ID, it'll create that new room and have them as the captain. So since I'm the left one, I'm just gonna call myself left win. And we're gonna join room one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So now that I'm in the room, we have a little top hub here that shows some information about the room. Uh, we have the room ID. We have the room captain, which is left win. The username, which is also left win and then a list of players, which right now just has left win. Then below, we have some game settings. I've sorted the cards by team, so the villagers are blue. Here are some villager roles, the werewolves are red. Ambiguous is purple, because they could be on either the werewolf or the villager team. It really depends what happens during the night. And then finally, we have the independents who are marked with green. Then we have some timers, so this is a time slider for regular roles, time for complex roles, and then here's a time slider for how much time is allocated to discussing the night. Then below, finally, I have some miscellaneous options. So sometimes me and my friends wanna play with these on or off. So I thought I'd add them here into the final build. Okay, so now let's have you also join. You're the middle window, so mid win. Um, room one, two, three, four. So have you join you're the right window so right win one two three four okay cool so now you'll see on all their screens the player list has been updated showing the three players if let's say the middle window were to leave obviously on the remaining players windows the player list would update but we want to have them in so let's just add the middle window back now since the middle window and the right window aren't the captains if they tried to edit the game settings or you know move the sliders or click on miscellaneous options they wouldn't be able to because only the captain can do that all right so let's jump into a demo game i'm gonna select troublemaker seer uh let's do it let's do insomniac werewolf minion and doppelganger um obviously in a real game you probably wouldn't want this much time per roll but for the sake of demonstration i'm gonna leave them this high However, that said, I'm gonna move the time allocated to discussing the night down to 10 seconds. Um, the only miscellaneous option I'm gonna play with is rogue minion. So if a minion is by themselves and there are no werewolves, he just de facto becomes a werewolf. All right, let's start the game. So when you start the game, we're greeted with this little window here that shows us our original role, the round we're on right now and how much time is in that round. So left window is a doppelganger, middle window is a troublemaker and right window is an insomniac. Um, yeah, so Doppelganger should be first here. Okay, so the instructions have appeared. You can pick a player to Doppel. Let's Doppel the middle window. Okay, your new role is Troublemaker. You can pick two players to swap. So we're gonna swap the right window and the middle window players. Cool, so I swapped them. So now their cards are changed and they don't know it yet. Um, yeah, so now it should be the werewolf round. Obviously there are no werewolves. And in a real game, you probably wouldn't want to have this much time per round. Otherwise, you'll be sitting around for a while. So I'm probably going to speed up through this section here where no one has a role. Okay, so now it's the Troublemaker's turn. Um, middle window is Troublemaker, so they can swap two cards. Uh, let's swap. Let's swap these two. Cool. So... There's been quite a few swaps. The middle window and the right window have been swapped and then the left window and the right window have been swapped. So the left window actually has the middle window's card. All right, so now it's the Insomniac's turn. Uh, right window is the Insomniac. He sees, okay, my card is now Doppelganger. That means that some swaps have occurred. So now they discuss the night. Obviously this is too little time, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna leave this low. The next round would be voting. Let's just say that the three players figured out, oh, we're all villagers, we're not gonna vote. Um, so they all abstain from voting and they should win. And there we go. So once the game's over, there's a little prompt here that shows the winning teams, which could be multiple because it could also include tanners, you know, werewolves and tanners could win. There's a bunch of different combinations. So the results we see here, um, left window one, it shows 
their behavior. They were a double troublemaker, and it also shows their current card. They have no votes, and they abstain from voting. So we see this little window for every player. The window is color-coded based on your card's team. So since we're all on the villager team, we all have little blue boxes for ourselves. So that's a sample game. Um, yeah, I might just go back to the lobby and do another. Okay, so the second game was not very exciting. Um, I'm gonna try again here and hope I get an exciting game that'll show off some more mechanics. Let's do, yeah, I like these cards. Let's go with these cards and see what happens. All right, nice, this looks good. So we have the left window is a werewolf, the middle window is a tanner, and the right window is a troublemaker. That means we have both, or all three teams fighting amongst each other. Should be good to see what happens. Okay, so it's the werewolf's turn. Since he's a solo werewolf, he gets to look at a middle card. Um, let's look at middle card three, and we see it's a doppelganger. So we know there are no doppelgangers in the game. Um, and again, you can't click on any of the other cards because you're only allowed to look at one as a werewolf. All right, so since we have no minion, this round will also go by with nothing happening. Okay, so now it's the troublemaker's turn and we're gonna swap the left window and the middle window. So this means now that the left window is actually Tanner and the middle window is werewolf and they don't know it. So if we were pretending this was a real game, what would likely happen is that left window would try and get one of the other two players killed. So that's what we're gonna do in the voting round. But unbeknownst to him, he's actually a Tanner, so he wants to die. So let's just say uh, that, that the left window and the right window both vote for the middle window. So we're gonna have them both vote for the middle window because they think he's suspicious and the middle window is gonna vote for the left window because he also thinks he's suspicious. And voila, interesting results. So the only team that won were the villagers. Um, the tanner, which is marked with the green color, lost because the tanner did not die. Um, the, the red team, which is the werewolves, also lost because the werewolf died, right? So the current card that was werewolf got the most votes, which means the werewolf died, and he was the only card that died. So werewolf team loses as a result. Again, it's all color coded, so the card the team of your card is uh, determines the color, right? So since I'm a troublemaker, I'm on the villager team, I have a blue color. So that was a little bit more of an interesting game. We got to see a few more mechanics. And yeah, um, that's currently the state of this prototype. I hope you found this video helpful.